it is just the perfect recipe for a good day. Want some beer? Sure. Oh, it's big bottle. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Three Tarzan. Nay, nay, nay. Bye. You said doso. You said doso before. Good morning from Cebu here in the Philippines, everybody. <laughs> Guys, just look how gorgeous this place is. Crystal clear water. It's just honestly such a vibe. Perfect temperature to be spending the day by the beach. And that is exactly what we're gonna do today because I'm staying uh, about 200 meters up that way at a $200 per night hotel. I'm there for the next couple of nights. And uh, I arrived in there uh, last night. Uh, it was raining, it was kind of a little bit miserable. So I was like, you know what? We'll wait until the weather is good. And boy, oh boy, did the weather turn out good today. This water, guys, if you know me, I'm Australian. I live in Sydney, I live by the beach, and I absolutely love being by the beaches. So it is just absolute paradise right here, right by the beach. Uh, the hotel, super nice room, overlooking uh, the water. There's a really nice mall next to it. Uh, they have like kayaking, paddle boarding that you can do. We can see somebody over there doing some paddle boarding. And a really cool thing about this area of the beach is that right now it's high tide. In low tide, it actually goes like all the way out. So you can like walk basically to like where all those boats are. I don't even know if they would be like in a couple hours, they're gonna be beached. So we are gonna be spending the day here, enjoying the luxury, uh, and we'll bring you all along for the journey. So ta da na, and uh, Join me as we explore the luxury hotel here in Cebu, $200 per night and worth every cent. We've got a little photo shoot going on here. I think for the hotel, I saw them setting up all the cameras uh, up at the pool area. But uh, man, look at all that. We've got a DSLR, we've got another DSLR, not like five DSLRs. And here I am, just with a GoPro. But uh, yeah, I think that's to do with the hotel, but as I was saying, I have like plenty of kayaks and paddle boards here. The hotel is actually just up there. Um, but this whole beach area here is all like private access for the guests. Here we go, kayaks and whatnot. So we'll definitely take out the kayaks today. It is damn hot, I'll tell you that much. Um, but yeah, the Modala Beach Resort. This is where it is. And uh, that is where we're heading now. It's honestly like such a beautiful area. Like right now it's super hot, so it's perfect time to be swimming. So we'll head up to the pool um, in the evening time when I arrived here. Uh, it's just like so beautiful just walking along here, walking along the strip. There's a, a big like kind of mall area with like some really nice restaurants and stuff. But here we go. This is the entrance or the beachfront entrance. Wow, wow, wow. Does it get much better than this? I don't think so. Look at that. Palm trees, ocean, mountains in the background, and an infinity pool. So, we're gonna have a quick little swim to uh, start the day off right. Get all the batteries and phones out. My feet are super sandy, so I'm gonna shower off quickly. There we go. Some countries that I've noticed actually require you to um, kind of shower before you actually get in to pools. But, oh, all right. Look at this, guys. Beach chairs and whatnot, but. Oh. <laughs> this is paradise. Look at this, honestly. <laughs> like, I've stayed at some pretty nice places around the world, but I think an infinity pool overlooking the beach, like right here, honestly, like, I don't think it can, there's very few places in the world that could beat this. And I'm just super stoked to be staying here for the next couple of nights on Cebu Island. It, uh, Look, honestly, I should, be, I should be showing that way. I shouldn't be showing the view of my face when there's this beautiful view of the beach just over there. Damn, that is good. 
Let's go under. We also got a bar here for the guests. Let's see what they have on the menu. Oh, hey brother. Do you have a menu that I could look at, please? Serving all kinds of alcohol drinks. Perfect, thank you. All right, so we got appetizers, pizzas, sandwiches. Which one is the best cocktail? Uh, what do you prefer, sir? Uh, you want a sweet cocktail, a strong cocktail? Or yeah, like a sweet cocktail? Sweet, uh, well, best seller for a sweet cocktail. So we have the whiskey sour, Mai Tai, or margarita, sir. Ah, uh, margarita. All right, I'll have one uh, classic margarita, please. Okay, sir. You want play frozen, sir? Or, uh, uh, frozen, yeah, frozen. Thank you. Sorry. Can life get much better than this? A frozen margarita on the pool in Cebu? I don't think so. So, uh, where's the margarita? Classic margarita, 185. That is around just under four US dollars. So, actually, very affordable for the price. The, the menu is actually re like, actually, that's very cheap for drinks. Um, the food, like sandwiches, beef burger, that's like 12 US dollars. Pizza, around like seven US dollars for that one. Um, but it's nice. All right, margarita is in the works. You can see it there. All the materials and ingredients are being added to that one. And uh, a bit of ice. Oh, yeah, we did ask for frozen, so that's a cool machine. That would definitely chop your fingers off if you had them in the wrong areas. So let's see. Oh, perfect. Man. Nothing like a margarita at an infinity pool on the side of the beach. You might have to get jet skis later on. That looks so, it's like so much fun. All right, guys, I put two and two together. It's a wedding. So I'm guessing the people that I was filming earlier, the bride, uh, not the bridesmaid, the best men, the groomsmen. And there's either a bridesmaid or a, a wife. Um, but that understands. Ah, thank you very much, brother. Amazing. A little margarita, frozen margarita, here on the uh, the water. Get a, a cheeky thumbnail. Oh, that's good, Marky. Very delicious. Mmm. Thank you. Oh, how good. You know, sometimes they don't let glasses in the pool, but these are actually plastic ones, so no chance of them breaking. But, wow, this is just incredible. It's actually a really nice margarita as well. Some margaritas I've had super, uh, like they add just so much salt to the edges. But this is like a nice balance. And you always gotta go to the frozen margaritas, guys. You can't be having the normal margaritas on tropical islands like this. You gotta get the frozen one to combat the summer heat. And guys, just look how beautiful this is. The contrast of colors. It's kind of like white sand to turquoise water. And then you have the blue water, like the deep blue and then the dark blue sky. It is just the perfect recipe for a good day. All right guys, done at the pool. When I was walking down here earlier, I saw on the right side, a little koi pond. Look at all these guys. Big, there's some big ones in there as well. But yeah, they're all like gathering over to the side. Maybe they think that, that I'm gonna feed them or something. No, I don't have any cheese parathas for you guys, I'm sorry. Not here in the Philippines, unfortunately, but I can ship them over to you. Maybe like a three day delivery. So a uh, yeah, 72 hour wait for that. But this is uh, kind of the main lobby area. Again, like there's just, we're kind of like on the edge of Cebu. So I'm right near the airport, right? Like five minute drive from the airport. So it's kind of just like this one strip of land that separates that side of the ocean. And also 
on that side of the ocean. So you literally have kind of like views everywhere you go in the water here. It's just like literally the perfect like climate. Like apparently it's rainy season right now. Yesterday was really the only kind of rain that I experienced so far, which was just like in the evening time. But apart from that, like the weather is still so like goddamn good here, even during the rainy season. So I'm gonna head up to the room now and I'll give you guys a quick little tour of that one. Uh, pretty nice room, good view, nice, uh, nice amenities and whatnot. Level five, top floor for the king. And uh, yeah, let's go into the room. Ta da! -da. Alright, guys, we are back in the room. So, as I was saying, $200 per night to stay at this place has amazing facilities and everything. The pool, the beach, absolutely incredible. Private beach access for all hotel guests. But the room is actually a really nice room, as you can expect for paying $200 per night. So, this is kind of like the first. Uh, look in point a little bit uh, oversaturated there, so you can't see the view, but I'll show you that in a moment Let's go into the bathroom. You guys all know how much I absolutely love the good old bathroom reviews Of course, we got the bum gun tell you what I was back in Australia a couple weeks ago And uh, it is a travesty that we don't have the bum gun in Australia or it's not like normalized I don't know. I don't know what the hell people in Australia the US all those countries What are you doing adopt the bum gun you need the bum gun it is the most practical efficient thing in the world i don't know why australia doesn't have it <laughs> but fortunately there is one thing australia does have and that is showers uh just like everywhere else in the world but these showers here guys tell you what this is actually a very underrated um kind of design here a shower that gets pushed in so a lot of the shower uh doors they kind of get pushed out and then they collide with the big door so you know little uh architectural design there that actually helps the functioning of the bathroom so got our shower gels the bad glee mishka shower gel conditioner shampoo and of course got like a stainless steel um shower head and you all know how much i love the taps or the shower heads that come from the floor <laughs> not not the floor <laughs> the floor what, are we gonna have it down there shooting straight up at us no i mean from the roof um that actually enables it to simulate a rainforest or some rain here in the tropical island of Cebu. So I love that kind of stuff. But more importantly, guys, I have stayed here for a night and big statement here, but this could be the best bum gun I've ever used in my life. That's why I was uh, raving on about it so much earlier. But look at this. Oh, how good is that, guys? perfect radius perfect strength and it cleans all the areas that you are in need of so 10 out of 10 for the bum gun i approve it is uh coming in handy when i need it the most now heading on in to the closet here we got two bathrobes unfortunately i'm only needing one at this present point in time but they're still there if you need it you know you come back from the beach you have a shower you want to sit on your balcony you don't want to come in your singlets or you know your, your wet clothes Chop on your bathrobe and enjoy the uh, enjoy the view, which I will show you in one second time. Now, I checked in yesterday and I slept on that bed and I left this one perfectly, just so you guys could see the uh, the welcome home uh, thing made out of I think uh, palm leaves or palm tree leaves, something like that. But now that I've done this video, I can mess it up. <laughs> done. You're not welcome home anymore, Luke. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is the bed. Uh, we got two beds there. Not really sure what the purpose of that is. I'm only one person. And we got a big couch here that is actually like reasonably comfy. No, it's not. I thought it was comfortable. Maybe it's comfortable because there's about 10,000 pillows there on it, uh, giving us a little bit of cushioning. But you know, I guess it serves its purpose. You don't want to be sitting on your bed all day or sitting in the office chair. You can uh, kind of like lounge back a bit, read your book, uh, watch your Luke Demant videos, whatever you want in life. Um, but yeah, nice little workstation here with some Modalo water. That's actually the name of the hotel, not sponsored. I'm paying full price for this. And then of course, heading on out to the balcony, everybody. 
This is where the fun happens. Nice little drying rack there. It is super hot <laughs> when you compare this to the AC room in there, but a couple chairs, uh, but yeah. I'm glad we got the fifth level because we get a view of all the water there and all the water on that side as well. As I was saying, this kind of strip of land, like the airport is maybe like a couple kilometers that way and it's just like this big strip of land and either side, it's just like surrounded uh, with ocean water. So it's a beautiful view. You know, that's the, the check-in area, the reception. There's the koi fish uh, pond over there uh, and you just sort of enter through there. Oh look, a little jeepney tricycle tuk-tuk combination. I've never seen one that's like fully enclosed. It's like a tuk-tuk but on a motorbike wheel. Interesting. Um, but yeah, this is the room everybody. Look how it just, it is so beautiful. <laughs> I, just, I, I just can't get over it, honestly. The Philippines, you just continue to impress me. It is goddamn gorgeous out here. So as I was saying guys, we're gonna be spending the day here. Uh, I'll be doing all the activities, the paddle boarding, the kayaking, we'll explore around the area. And uh, yeah, we'll just bring you along on the journey. So, Tarana, let's uh, play the next clip. Tarana. Well, actually, just quickly, I uh, purposely left these in here from yesterday. I didn't want to try them out, but there's a mini fridge here, uh, and there's these kind of weird, like, interesting uh, juices of some sort. Bought a Gatorade. We'll have to uh, fill up the mini fridge later on with some goodies. There's a 7 Eleven down the road, so we'll, we'll go out there. Grab some chocolate, grab some uh, Coke, Coca-Cola, not Coke Zero. We can't be uh, having that kind of stuff in the body, even though Dale would not be too happy with that, but you gotta get the real stuff. You can't be having Coke and uh, not having the, the, the real deal. You can't be having zero sugar. What are we in 2022? Anyways, I'm gonna try this thing. It kind of looks like pineapple juice. Um, it looks a little bit fermented at the bottom there, but we will try it out. Okie dokie. Open it up. I think pineapple. Oh no, it's not. It's like, it's citrusy and lemony. It's, it smells like lemon juice or orange. Maybe a mixture of the two. Well, it's definitely not orange juice. I'll tell you that much. I think it's just mixed fruit kind of like I do not know what this is. I... I don't know. <laughs> it has like a faint uh, smell and taste of orange, but it's not like the full flavor that you get when you have orange juice. It does taste actually pretty nice though, so... Not sure what it is. Maybe if you're a Filipino watching this, have you seen anything like this? Um, here at the Philippines. Maybe it's specific to this hotel, but I like it. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm looking out to the beautiful view. We are going to explore uh, the rest of the resort and the nearby surroundings. Um, so, Tarana, let's bring you guys all along with the journey. Guys, again, sorry for the interruption, but I'm feeling incredibly sad because I just finished that last clip about five minutes ago reviewing the room and I just realized I didn't do a bed test. I feel like I've lied to you guys. I feel, uh, I feel guilty for not doing the bed test. Two beds here and your man can't even do one bed test. So I slept on that bed last night. I haven't even like touched this bed apart from smacking the, uh, the big leaves that were there saying welcome home. Um, so we'll do one here. Th that one, honestly, last night, it was okay. It was pretty hard when I slept on it. I, I presume this is the same maybe, um, but yeah, it was like, okay, it was mediocre. And I, I got rid of the pillows, chucked them over onto the big couch there, because these pillows, I don't know why hotels ever add these ugly pillows. Like, just give me four super soft white pillows. I don't want this ugly artistic design. <laughs> like, what is this color here? Come on, like, it, what is that? It looks like you've used fishing line that you got from the beach, wrapped it around a couple of chicken feathers, and that's your pillow done. But bed test everybody here in the Philippines in Cebu, $200 per night uh, hotel. Three, two, one. <sighs> Too hard. It is so hard. 
Just the exact same as the other one. Disappointing, to be honest. Look like, you can just tell this is a hard bed, right? Like just, like, listen to that. Look at, listen to that thud. I don't know, that's interesting. I've had some really good beds here in the Philippines at the places that I stayed at, but it's, it's hard, but the pillows, I think they make up for it a little bit. Not as soft as I would like, but I think you get like two, yeah, this one's a little more softer. This is kind of like the firm one. And then you have these ones that are completely useless. So, all right. I promise now after three interruptions that we are going to go and explore the rest of the area. ta -da -da. Let's do it. All right, so we're just walking out of the resort at the moment. Uh, my room is, uh, which one is it? Somewhere on the top floor there. Uh, but I'm gonna go down to the street here because you can either access like the kind of shopping area from the beachfront, um, but I will actually just like show you the front entry of that. I think it's like, oh, it actually might just be here. Um, so we'll go in there in a second. All right, here we go, the Modato Strip. I don't have a mask, so I'm not sure how this is gonna end up. Hello. Hello, good morning. How are you? Come the car. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's not that busy. Yesterday afternoon, it was super busy. Everybody, I guess, right now it's like 11 a.m. So things are uh, slowly beginning to open up. But it's actually just like such a nice, modern kind of uh, area. It's so beautiful. There's beautiful grass here. Let's hop, skip, jump. But you got so many beautiful restaurants. There's also like a second floor where there's some like uh, beach cafes, some bars and whatnot. But man, this grass is nice. Super soft, super nice grass. So yeah, maybe later tonight we'll either get some food from here and then bring it back to the hotel room or we can get a, uh, a bit of food uh, in room dining. But yeah, I think I think this is open. This has nothing to do with the uh, hotel they're not affiliated i don't believe or that may be completely incorrect because this is actually oh i just trod on that black bit that is so hot i may actually be wrong though because this um this right here is actually part of the hotel as well that is where i had breakfast this morning is it connected no, it is not. Gee, I'm lucky I don't have a room over there. That would be absolutely horrible. So, yeah, completely different entities. We've got the hotel room. We've got the hotel establishment. And then the Modato... Mo, Mo, oh, it's Modato. Modato Strip. Right towards the beach. So, let's go... Uh, oh, look at that thing. <laughs> There's so many just cool like little things on this beach. Let's go check that out. So, again, I don't know if this is public. Or like I think actually this is storm so which one's storm maybe one of the ones up on the roof but no that area is specifically for uh, here you can see there's a sign there exclusive for Medallo guests only but look at this a USA army truck or something that is so sick wonder if we're allowed in I guess so oh where are the keys mate honk honk this is actually so cool look at all the gears Four-wheel drive, low-wheel drive. We've got a couple masks down there. How many kilometers? Only 50,000 kilometers. Oh my God. That is crazy. That is so sick. <laughs> I don't know if it's like a souvenir or what actually, what is the purpose of this? But either way, it looks super cool. As I was saying earlier in the day though, guys, yesterday evening, this was just like all sand for like, like a hundred meters. So the tides here, or like the depth of the ocean on the bank is just like, it's all flat. So when the tide does come in, it's like super, super low and super high. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Just literally clear water. You can see it all the way through. It's crazy. Hello. Hello. Uh, where can I get a towel from? Uh, just wait here because... Oh he's, oh, he's bringing some. Oh, what else? We got jet skis, horseback riding. Oh, will you have horses? Yeah. Where are they? They're here? Over there. 
Ah, how much does it cost? Three Tarzan? No. 1,500. Oh, that's a good price. <laughs> It'll be criminal uh, not to get a horse later this evening, maybe. You can do it in high tide or you have to wait till low tide? Uh, about horse, horse back riding. Yeah, yeah. You can do any time? Only for low tide, sir. Low tide, so uh, this afternoon? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll do that. There's so many cool things. But the, the paddle boarding and kayaking is free? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Maybe I'll, I'll wait over at the beach. Yeah. Thank you. Lots of activities that you can do, guys. Plenty of fun for the day. The good thing is with the horseback riding is that it's a fixed price. You're not getting three tars end at the end of your ride. Or at least you hope not. <laughs> Anyways, let's wait for a towel. And uh, yeah, look. So yesterday, as I was saying, it's, it's just crazy. Like this volleyball net was like in the like middle of the beach. But it's just changed so much with the high tide. Fascinating. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think there is many better things in life as getting into the ocean in super crystal clear water. And uh, yeah, like, it's getting, it's kind of just like, oh look, little fishy. It's kind of like just staying at this knee length or this knee height of water, but this is just unbelievable. This is just absolutely gorgeous. Such an amazing place to stay right by the beach. This could be, uh, honestly, one of my top uh, places I've stayed at. It is such a vibe. The palm trees. There's all the, the bridesmaids for that wedding that I was mentioning earlier. It is just absolutely perfect seriously i'm frothing it i'm frothing i love this we've been walking for a couple minutes we're about like 50 meters offshore and it just keeps going same height we're at like waist level at the moment oh we're actually we're reaching some some seaweed now oh it's actually it's getting deeper it's deceptively deeper now the water is like literally so clear that it looks like it's shallower here but I'm slowly getting submerged <laughs> to neck height. <laughs> oh my god. I, when I was walking here, I was like, oh, it looks like it's getting shallower. It must be like a, a little bit of a sandbank here. But I'm almost fully submerged. This is so deep. It's so deceptive. Wow. Just so beautiful, guys. <sighs> Excuse me, ladies, over there. The water may be getting a little bit warmer shortly, if you know what I mean. Because I'm peeing. <laughs> uh, you know, there's two types of people in this world. People that pee in the shower and people that lie about it. <laughs> Oh my god, this is just absolute paradise. This is just incredible. I'm thoroughly enjoying this, guys, you know? A lot of hotel videos, they're, they're fun. They're fun to do the luxury ones, but I'm actually very uh, content right now. I think it's just because we're by the ocean. This is like one of the first uh, places that I've stayed at right by the ocean that I've actually filmed. And the fact that you just have like beach access, you walk like about 20 meters from your hotel room to the beach. It makes an Aussie that grew up on the beaches incredibly happy. Uh, how many you need to uh, just one please. Thank you. All right, let's do this. All right, jet ski. Hey, brother. Can I please do, um, what is the difference between beginner and advanced jet ski? Uh, the difference is the beginner is uh, low power. 
Ah, uh, low power. Mm. Uh, it is uh, a different one. Same, same, still one. Oh, same, uh, but it's different power. Mm. All right. Well, I will. Uh, so what? We got advanced one hour. Is it like? Is it a big difference between beginner yeah. and advanced? Mm. So you think I should do advanced or beginner? It's up to you. <laughs> All right. I like to go fast. Uh, we do. Um, I'll do the advanced 15 minutes jet ski, please. I can just do it for my room, right? I can... Uh, 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 room charge? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Mm. Alright guys, so 4,500 pesos, that's around 90 uh, dollars, 90 US. The exchange rate is like 50 pesos to a dollar, so you just kind of double it. It is by myself or somebody comes with me? Somebody here, if you want. Oh, who, who will come? Can I go by myself? That's okay. You're not our first, first time you're here. No, not jet ski. I've done before. I did it in Pakistan. Pakistan. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, perfect. Um, After? Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, let's get yeah, you can just leave there. Thank you so much. All right, safety precautions are done. Let's go. What's your name? Lito. Lito. You are the jet ski ex expert? Not, not really. <laughs> not really? <laughs> That's not what I want to hear. <laughs> You're meant to be an expert. <laughs> All right. Here we go, the Kawasaki. So I remember when I was in Pakistan in like Adabad, we had like the two options. We had the Ka Kawasaki, which was considered as like the Japanese brand, which it is. Or well, then you had the local uh, brand and like the Kawasaki's was so much more expensive. Um, so I think we got the local one. It still went pretty fast though. By the way sir, uh, this is uh, low power. Low power. And this is the high power. Ah, so it's different key for yeah. the power. I was wondering how that worked. So it's so oh, important. So, so right, right. I hop on? Yeah. Okay. Wait, so you are coming with me or I'm going by myself? You're by myself? Are you yourself? Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> so how will I know? 15 minutes, you will call me back? Mm -mm. You want to test this one? Uh, can I switch outside? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Just uh, try to select. This is the high power. Uh-huh. Okay. And then if you want to use this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Change. Okay, I start with the yellow. Oh, okay. This is start, yep. stop, yep. and then accelerator. Yeah, accelerator. Yeah. There's no brake, right? No. Uh, no brake, sir. Okay. Only reverse. Reverse. Ah, okay, perfect. So I start? Start. Okay. Oh. Alright. Thank you. We are off and racing, everybody. Oh my god, these are fun. Haha. <laughs> oh yeah. in the jet ski by myself ever. This is just pure bliss. Oh my god! It is fast! Oh yeah! This is low power as well. And it's fast. Oh my god. Look how pretty this is everybody. jet skis were all right let's stop this let's uh put in the high key baby we're not here to go slow we're here to get oh no did i not put it in right maybe it's the other way there we go all right guys i'm honestly oh my god it is so much faster. Oh my god! This... I'm putting, I'm taking my hat off. 
the difference is insane. Literally insane. Look how much like recoil there is. Oh my god. Crazy. Look how blue the water is. We hit 55 kilometers an hour. Oh no, oh no, I went over my heart. All right, I see my heart. I need to get it before it sinks. I don't really want to jump off this thing because then that could be a recipe for disaster. Come on. Ah. There we go. All right, heart is secure. Guys, when I say this is fast, like, I've ridden motorbikes, I have my motorbike license, I used to have a motorbike at home. Uh, but this, like, the acceleration on this thing is absolutely ludicrous. Like, ridiculous. Like, there's actual G-force on this thing. Oh my god! Guys, I'm actually just shocked at how much power this thing has, like... Wow. I got so scared there, I went over my own weight. I tried to go on the outside of it, but I, it, it caught up to me. It is ridiculous how fast this thing is. Wow. I don't know how jet skis are measured. I know like motorbikes, it's CC. Maybe this is horsepower, but it is just ridiculous at the power that this thing has. So just look how beautiful the views are, everybody. Like the water is just so clear. We all these beautiful like rock formations on the outside. I'm sure there'll be some like fish around. Um, but oh my god. Oh yeah, just 
because it's like so, so shallow. Lucky like jet skis, they're not powered by. All right, we still got six minutes. He gave me the the uh, the thumbs up of saying six minutes or whatever. So we're gonna absolutely pin it out of here. I'll put you guys in my life jacket so I can have both hands. Ridiculous. Oh, look, these people are doing uh oh there's a flying fish. Hello! <laughs> I, I saw a flying fish. These guys are doing super uh, scuba diving. I literally saw a flying fish. Alright. Ah. We're low on fuel. Look. Fuel. Down. We've been shredding too much. Or maybe that's the indicator of uh, 15 minutes. Incredible guys. Good. Oh, all right, we're coming into shore. Wow, it is very fast <laughs> like, incredibly fast. Oh, it's just. Thank you. This is how you know it's time because the fuel? No. Oh, so no, it was just... Gas, nothing gas. Yeah. All right. Brother, thank you so much. Okay. That was so much fun. Gee, we should have done the kayaking first. I don't know how anything is going to beat that now. <laughs> Very good. That was so much fun. It's so fast. <laughs> Yeah, I should put, I'll put this here. Uh, room number, sir. Uh, 520. 520. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm back at the pool. I just realized I left my hat downstairs <laughs> at the beach. All right, got the hat. Let's go for another swim. All right, back at the room, guys. It is uh, around like 1 p.m., I think. It is uh, 12.32. It is damn hot outside. <laughs> um, so I'm seeking cover in the AC for a little bit. We'll chill out. When it cools down in the afternoon, we'll uh, explore some more areas out in the paradise. Absolutely loving the vibe here. Just palm trees, all that good stuff. So much greenery, so much blue. It is, uh, yeah, the perfect combinations to uh, have a good time here. So. Ta na we'll uh, see you later this afternoon. All right, so it's around 3.30 at the moment. Had a quick little nap and got a Red Bull for uh, some energy, but we're back down at the beach. So this is the, the Madato Strip that I was speaking about. When I was mentioning, saying that yesterday it was super busy, it just clocked in my mind. Yesterday was a Sunday, so obviously it was a, a weekend. Today is Monday, and the resort that I was staying at uh, and just this whole area, it's so much quieter on a, uh, on a weekday. So it's good when you're here, especially on a Monday, after it's really busy uh, during the weekend. But the tide is starting to come out. Like, uh, it's going into low tide. So you can see, like, that's what I was saying about all the boats. There's a couple boats in there that are literally beached. The jet skis are beached. 
Uh, there's no, <laughs> you're not going to be able to drag those jet skis through 50 meters of sand to get to the deeper water. Um, but yeah, we're just going to roam around the evening, enjoy the uh, the cooler weather with a little bit of Red, Red Bull for some caffeine. But you can tell every single afternoon and evening uh, in the Philippines, there's always a lot more cloud cover, especially in the rainy season. So we uh, are expecting probably a little bit of rain in the next hour or two, uh, given the cloud formation. So let's enjoy the sun while we have it, I suppose. Let's do it. So yeah, all of this, just like a couple hours ago, was all underwater and these are all like little crab holes. And these little uh, bits of small rolls of sand have been crabs that have... Oh look, there's a crab right there. Is he dead? I don't know. He's not moving. He must be dead. But all these crabs, I think, have dug little holes and sort of rolled up the little bits of sand. But they are everywhere. It's so like satisfying walking on this soft little bit of sand here. And look at all these like little squiggly ones. <laughs> They're like little uh, dog poos. <laughs> that is so funny. Anyways, we're gonna walk up this way. I haven't walked up this side yet. So uh, we'll go and do that. Yeah, so all these holes here, they're all just like crab holes. So if you like kick over where the mounds are, you can see little holes of crabs that have gone in. Like this one here, it's a crab hole. That one there, another crab hole. It's crazy. All this has just been done since the tide's gone out. Look, that's a big one. Massive crab in there, surely. It's a huge hole. Anyways, we'll stop disturbing the wildlife <laughs> and we'll make our way down here. Whoa, look at this. A massive jellyfish. I'm not gonna touch it, because you never know if uh, they're, they're poisonous <laughs> or whatnot. There's a couple of jellyfish um, in Australia that are really, really dangerous. The box jellyfish, Irukandji, tiny little ones, but usually the big ones, they're not too, too dangerous. So maybe we'll, I don't know. I don't even want to. I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Who knows what's out here in the Philippines that can get you killed? Could be a, a massive, venomous jellyfish that you die instantly in. But it's so cool just coming down to the wildlife here as the tide goes out and just seeing what was under the ocean. Uh, previously, but here here's another one over here this poor little guy He's gotten stuck Don't really know what else I can do for you buddy, but I'll give you some more water Yeah, they they just get caught in the tide because it goes out so rapidly There's no way that they Can get out and they probably just get roasted in the Sun Hello what are you searching for? Oh, worms. Wow. Oh. Oh, you have one. Oh my God. No, no, no. Oh no, what is that? Stop. Oh, it's a stick. <laughs> what is this? Is worm? Uh, ambilang. 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 And you find them in the sand? Yeah, uh, you look. Ambilang. You look. You, you try this? Oh, wow. Try. You can eat. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You cook or you eat delicious, raw? Delicious. Delicious. Mm. Muscle up. Muscle up. <laughs> lummy, lummy. <laughs> All right. See. You. Look at this little guy. He was running around my feet. Look at him. Look how fast they are. Down, boy. Go on. Quick, quick, quick. Run, run, run. <laughs> Whoa! They're so agile. It's crazy. Now he's playing dead. He thinks that I don't see him in the sand. They camouflage really well though. Perfect color against this sand. But you see a couple of them when you're walking by, they kind of feel your footsteps and then they run off into their little holes. There's hundreds down there, I guarantee it. Everywhere. Well, I just noticed here, I saw one starfish and I started to look closer and there's literally like hundreds and hundreds of starfish just around. Look how big they are. 
They're moving. I didn't know they moved that fast. Jeez, they're flying. But in this, this little area here, oh look, you can see this is where they previously were. Or is that that? Oh, that's one now. Oh, I thought that was like the outmark of another one. So, wow, there's so many here. They're all under the sand. Some have moved, I think. Yeah, so that one, there was the outline there of one, but they've made their way into the water. But just look how cool that is. Ooh. <laughs> there are hundreds and hundreds of them. I don't, I don't want to tread on them. But yeah, you can see like the out, outline of them. They've obviously realized that they're gonna end up here for a couple hours stuck in the sun. So they make their way over into into the water that's so cool there's a really cool kind of like beach restaurant they got music blaring on the speaker we better stay away so we don't get copyrighted <laughs> but uh maybe that will be the move coming uh, here later tonight for like a dinner on the beach uh, or maybe even my hotel i think actually my hotel maybe has uh, a few seats on the beach area that you can use to uh, to eat your dinner at, which would be beautiful, you know? As long as it's not raining. But I think, I don't know, it's starting to get a little bit more gray. So the rain might be coming soon. Oh my goodness. Do you guys see what I see? Look at that. It's darling. The three Tarzan horse, but the brown version. Darling was white in uh, Karachi, but now he's brown. <laughs> kitna, kitna, three Tarzan. Nei, dorsal. <laughs> what do you do with the jet ski now? It's beach. Huh? It, it goes up? Yeah, yeah. Ah, so you have to push it up. And then where does it go? Up there? Up there. Ah. <laughs> It's too heavy. You need uh, big muscles. Yeah. Do you need? You need? Do you need my help? <laughs> uh, three Tarzan behind me. Jet ski men behind me. And a beautiful ocean view. Does it get much better than that? Oh, she's getting a three Tarzan ride. Watch out, it should only be dorsal. Don't pay anything more than dorsal. <laughs> oh yeah, just for context, the volleyball net. Remember how I was saying like five hours ago, it was like literally up to like knee length. Now it's like completely beached and you can actually play volleyball. So that just gives you an idea of how much this tide actually comes out from the land. It's just so shallow, it's crazy. Look at this guy, this guy's got a crab in his nippers he's moving so look buddy you dropped your you dropped your crab mate here you go have it back <laughs> he's just there <laughs> yeah i left it for you i'll leave you alone you can go back it's so fun just playing with the wildlife here and seeing everything i love this kind of stuff hello where are you from sir australia welcome to bangla wildlife in the whole philippines thank you oh you're drinking red horse yeah want some beer Sure. Oh, it's big bottle. Oh my goodness. Is this your boat? No, the uh, other one. Oh, the other one. We just uh, this, do the test drive. A test drive? Yeah. Uh. You're looking for the boat? Oh no, tomorrow I'm leaving. I, I fly back to Manila. Ah, okay. But thank you for the red horse. Yeah, yeah. did you visit already Virgin Island? No, not yet. Just like five minutes from here. Oh, on the boat? Yeah, you can uh, witness the sandbar out there. The sandbar? Long, yeah, so long white sandbar. Ah, and there's like fish and stuff? Or no, it's just sand? So, just sand? Yeah, just sand. But this place was good for snorkeling area. Yeah, maybe I'll take the ice out. Oh, you don't need the ice. Okay, okay. Because sometimes the water is not good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for like foreigner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For you guys, it's okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, nice. What's your name? Joseph. Joseph, I'm Luke. Luke. Nice to meet you. So you're just alone going here? Yeah, just here for a few weeks. Ah, okay. Traveling. We'll see. <laughs> so how's the weather condition in Australia? Cold. Cold. Like 10 degrees. 
a lot better here. It's nice. Yeah, you can, Even uh, though it's rainy season, it's still walk, good weather. Uh, going to the top, there's a private beach there. Oh, up here? Yeah, and then you can see the sunset. Uh, over on that side? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe. I'm, I'm going that direction, so... Uh, okay, you just bring slippers because uh, the way going out there is not really safe. Uh, it's maybe, like hard. No, there's some rocks, so ah, you need it's to okay. use slippers. I'm Australian. We don't wear shoes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have like always barefoot. <laughs> Do you need slippers, or you are yeah, if, used uh, to you it? You just go in the white sand, white sandy beach. Uh, no need slippers. Yeah. But if you just pass, like where's the horses are going there? So oh, can... that's where the horses yeah, are going. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I see. So what is the boat used for? For tours. Sometimes uh, tourists. Uh, sometimes fishing. Yeah. Damn, if I was staying another day, I'd come out on the boat, but okay, I'm leaving sure. tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So how many days you spend here in uh, Bohol? Uh, just two. Two days. Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> because uh, if you do like one day for island hopping and one day for countryside tour. Yeah. No. No, I think I'll, I'll come back so, uh, in maybe like one month. Because mm. I need to see the chocolate hills. Yeah, yeah. I have not seen them, so I need you, to come back. If you come back, just rent a, a car. Mm. You just hey, do it sir, by yourself. Hello, how are you? Just uh, good. take a car by your own. Just look at the map. Yeah. You can visit the. How much does a car cost to rent? For example, you just take a two thousand pesos for twenty four hours. Okay. Quick little chat, quick little beer with that kind gentleman. People are just so like willing to just help you out here. They're so friendly. Got a little doggy there, but. He was saying that this path up here leads to a uh, sunset, like a secret little beach that is good for sunset. So hopefully the cloud cover stays away and we can enjoy a nice little sunset for ourselves. All right. You can see what he meant by the rocks. They're kind of, these ones are like a little bit more smooth, but definitely not the, uh, ooh, not the most pleasant things to stand on and that's an Australian saying that we don't wear shoes half the time <laughs> especially at the beach it's criminal to wear shoes at the beach but earlier on when I was over there in, in the morning I would have shown like over here and there were, I was actually going to comment on these cranes that had been uh, established obviously this part of Boho it always was like a massive tourist area um, but obviously now that the after the pandemic and the Philippines is starting to open up This no doubt will become a top tourist uh, destination. So they're already getting the uh, the foundations and buildings ready for that Not sure why they're not working on a Monday I'm not I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that There's not a lot of people there But we're gonna keep walking around this way see uh if we can find this little beach that I was told about. Oh, they're shooting, they got slingshots. Hello, you have slingshot. <laughs> what are you shooting? Birds, bird? Yeah, or coconuts. <laughs> ah, that's a good old days. I remember when I was growing up, we used to like make slingshots and stuff. But now this like, Generation, at least in Australia, kids those age, that age, they're just all they do is sit on their iPads and iPhones and play video games. You got to get out, enjoy, be a kid again, get dirty, be adventurous. And adventurous we are being, walking on the edge of these rocks here. Horse poo, grass, more rocks, and water. <laughs> it's uh, oh my god. Look how colourful those starfish are. Look how bright they are. Ow, this hurts. Okay. I don't know if you can see in the camera though. Look how red that, that starfish is and the pink ones next to it. And they're big as well. That is crazy. That is so beautiful. Alright guys. So, it's gotten a little bit dark. The cloud is starting to come in. I made my way over to the secret beach um, that that guy was telling me about and I actually filmed the next video that you will see. So I just spent the past two hours 
doing a QA and a on the beach, roaming around, asking all your questions um, that I asked on Instagram earlier. So uh, that'll be the next video that you guys see. Uh, and I think it'll be a pretty good insight, but yeah, it's starting to get pretty dark over here now. We are uh, gonna head back to the hotel, but it's just so peaceful. Like I was just chilling on the beach, talking to the camera for like an hour or two, answering questions. And I was just like, wow, I feel so content right now. Like just look how, even though it's not sunny, it's just like, just oh, good vibes. Such a like, beautiful scenery here, honestly incredible absolutely loving it so we're gonna head back to the hotel my throat for like speaking the past three hours straight is killing me so uh hopefully we can get a bit of appetite for dinner tonight uh, but if not we'll head down to breakfast tomorrow morning so i don't know what the next clip will be uh but let's roll it now assalamu alaikum kidna kidna doso acha ek ride ek ride Egg ride kidna. Three tarzan. Nay, nay, nay. Bye. You said dorso. You said dorso before. No, 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 no. I can't. I'm not paying 3,000, bro. Nay. Three tarzan for that. <laughs> so, right now it's around 6 p.m. This is the time that I kind of arrived yesterday and it was raining so much, but it was so beautiful just like walking down here at this time. This is the wedding that I was showing you earlier. They were doing photo shoots here, but it looks like they've hired out this uh, this hotel and a kind of like beach area to have the, the function. So, such like a pretty area. So nice to just be on the beach with all the lights and stuff. We got some flowers. Hello brother, Hello. You're, it is wedding time, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're going to head back up to the hotel room now and we'll see the, re the rest of the night takes us. Good morning everybody, hair is probably a mess and I am tired as can be. I've been going to bed so late lately and uh, breakfast finishes at like 10 a.m. and it's like 9.50, so we're gonna make this quick. But uh, this is the kind of day that we have upon us. I will be checking out in about an hour and a half. I have a, f a flight that I need to get to. Uh, as I was saying, maybe yesterday, the airport's like 10 minutes away, so I booked a, uh, a taxi. Uh, it was 800 pesos, so around like $16, which is pretty expensive. You could probably go to the street and uh, get it for like five bucks maximum, uh, like a tuk-tuk or something. But I just wanted uh, to know that it was here at 11.30 when I need to need to leave, but yeah, pretty cloudy. Uh, we got blue skies over that side uh, and uh, clouds over that side. So hopefully there's no turbulence on the flight, but gonna quickly head down to breakfast, uh, eat as much as I can, even though I'm not that hungry, get a coffee. And then uh, I was originally thinking, I was saying, oh, it'd be so perfect to go for like a morning swim, but I realized that I have a flight, so I can't have wet clothes on me because I need to pack up all my things which you know there's everything here lots of things in here um, so yeah we can't be having gee my hair is a mess sorry for having to put you through this jeez sorry <laughs> anyways let's go down to breakfast see you guys down there I'll tell you what the weather gets a whole lot better when there's an infinity pool overlooking the water or the ocean it just uh <laughs> it makes a difference. But we're heading down to breakfast now. As I said, not too hungry. I'll have like a bite to eat and maybe a coffee to wake up. Um, but I have like five minutes <laughs> to do so. That's when it closes. Uh, but the beach is looking good. High tide again. As you can see, people got the kayaks out. I think somebody's getting ready for jet skiing. But uh, yeah, let's go get breakfast. Honestly, I swear this is like the hottest part of the day, like the morning time. It's around like 10 a.m. and it is so hot. But here's the breakfast area, everybody. You have out, outside seating, your inside seating. But we'll go in, get the last bit of the buffet breakfast, and then uh, yeah, we'll hang around for an hour or so.
Yes, could I have uh, black coffee? Actually, no, just a coffee with milk, please. Thank you. All right, this is what you call breakfast of champions, everybody. Bacon and eggs, a chocolate muffin, and a, a bread roll. I'm gonna force myself to eat this. I'm not hungry at all. As I was saying, my sleep has just been absolutely ridiculous lately. Going to bed at like 3 a.m. and uh, I don't know, it's crazy, but a little bit of bacon. They love bacon here in the Philippines. And I love bacon as well. But we're gonna eat this. We are gonna get a coffee to wake us up. And then we go check out, unfortunately. It's always the saddest time of the day when you have to check out of a luxury place. But it means that there are new adventures on the way. That's possibly the worst chocolate muffin I've ever had, but I'm gonna eat more. Oh, not the worst one. It's getting better as the, uh, the day goes on. <laughs> Amazing, thank you so much. We need milk on the side. Amazing, can I, oh, actually sugar here? Yes, Perfect, sir. all right. Uh, the sugar is here. Ah, amazing, thank you. No cream. Oh, no. Water. Yes, please. Thank you. Amazing. Oh, oh made a mess. Yes, <laughs> thank you very much. This is hard one-handed guys. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this. We'll uh, catch up with you in a second. So I open up this little bread roll here. Kind of reminds me of like Turkish uh, pita bread. It's super soft, but chuck the egg on top and uh, we're gonna make ourselves a little bacon egg sandwich. And that is the perfect way to, uh, to start the day. Oh, that is good. That is really nice. done we're wired again we're back alive we got approximately an hour until we need to uh, head off to the hotel it is such a beautiful day like the, the only thing I can think of is having a swim but we're in a bit of a predicament because I don't have any like I can't have wet clothes because they're all gonna get packed into a bag what's this guy doing anyways we'll head back up to the hotel room and uh, I think that'll, that'll be about it, everybody. We'll see, we'll see what we come across. We are back at the room. I'm gonna get uh, everything packed up. I'm gonna head on out to the airport, but it has been an amazing stay here. How can you not just love the beautiful views that you have? It's been so much fun. I've really actually enjoyed filming this hotel video, riding the jet skis, doing all those fun activities, and just like more specifically, it's been by the beach. It is just such an amazing feeling when you can stay somewhere and literally see all this blue water and greenery everywhere you go and you know a two minute walk and you're right at the beach from your room so it has been fun definitely recommend this place uh as all my hotel videos it's not sponsored or anything i just settled the bill there and it ended up being uh i stayed for two nights it ended up being 500 usd ar around about uh, maybe 520 including all the, like the jet ski uh room service uh and obviously the room charges as well so uh yeah it's been fun I really enjoyed this place and this is going to be a long video, <laughs> well over an hour I'd say, uh, but hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along to this hotel with me. So we're going to finish up the video here everybody, as always thank you so much for watching, chase your dreams and we will see you all in the next one, goodbye.